Today in this video, we will learn about how to transfer your EPF amount from your previous EPF account to latest EPF account. To do that, type UN member portal in Google and open the first link. It is unified portal mem.epfindia.gov.in. Once you open that link, the home page will look like this. Here you need to enter your UN number, password, and type the capture and click on sign in. If you are first time using this portal, then you have to activate your UAN and there you need to set a password to this portal. Once you log in on UAN member portal, the home page will look like this. Here you can see an option called online services. Under online services, you can see one member, one EPF account. That means the transfer request. But before that, you can check how many PF account numbers are linked to your UAN number. For that, go to view option here and click on service history. Here you can see how many EPF accounts are linked to your UAN number. Here you need to transfer your previous company's PF amounts to your latest company's PF account. To do the transfer process, again go to online services here and click on one member, one EPF account. Once you click on that link, this page will open. Once you scroll down, you can see the step one. Here you have two options. One is attestation through previous employer or present employer. Here you need to choose through whom you want to do your PF transfer. It is always better to choose the present employer because, because you will have the communication with them. Or if you want to choose your previous employer, then you have to select previous employer. But in most cases, it is better to choose the present employer during PF transfer claims. Once you select the attestation through previous employer or present employer, next you need to enter your previous company's PF account number or UAN number. If you have multiple UAN numbers, then you can enter that UAN number as well here. But here we are transferring the PF amount from the previous PF account to new PF account. That means the latest PF account. You can find that PF account number under service history option. Even if you don't know that also, it is not a problem. Here just enter your present UAN number and click on get details option here. Once you click on get details, you can see your previous PF account details from which you want to transfer your PF amount. Now select this box here and come to the step two. Here an OTP will be sent to your mobile number which is linked to your other. Here accept these terms and conditions and click on get OTP. Now an one time password will be sent to your registered mobile number. Now enter that OTP and click on submit. After typing the OTP, click on submit here. And here you can see the claim has been successfully submitted. And if you want to download the acknowledgement, then click on this download arrow under printable form 13 option here. And you can track the status on your EPF passbook portal or you can also track the status on UN member portal itself. For that go to online services and click on track claim status here. Here you can see the claim is pending at the present employer. Once your present employer approves the PF transfer request on their employer EPF portal, then that request will go to the your EPF regional office. After their approval, your PF will successfully transfer to your latest EPF account. To complete this entire process, it will take 10 to 20 days. And remember, during PF transfer process, only the PF amount will transfer and pension amount will also transfer, but that amount will not be shown in your latest EPF passbook. But whenever you want to withdraw that amount before 10 years of your total service, then you can withdraw the entire amount. That means both PF and pension amounts of previous company and the latest company. So this is the PF transfer process. I hope you like this video and for more videos like this, please share and subscribe.